soon. Well, I'm very happy that uh, the Senate Bill 33 did pass off at the Senate floor just a few short minutes ago. Um, the Senate now, uh, of course, we've, we've completed our business, and I think the map reflects it accurately um, with regards to population demographics based on the 2010 census, um, where the west side of Albuquerque, which is, um, is in need based on population numbers, at least to have two new senators, and the map does accurately reflect that. It was strictly a party line vote, though. Do you yes, think sir. that um, that's going to be a complicating issue when it gets to the House or ever, if it ever gets to the governor's office? Well, um, there are many bills that pass out of this floor based on party line votes. And, um, you know, the anticipation, I, I assumed that we probably would be voting on it on a party line basis. But 10 years ago, some of our bills also out of redistricting also had some party line votes, too. So if... If the chances are good that the governor might veto it, why? We uh, still have our job to do as a legislature, and this has completed at least the Senate's job at this point where we have sent over the four pieces of legislation that we have to deal with for redistricting. So the Senate, at least now up to this point, we have completed our, our job. Um, of course, it still has to go through the House and up mm -hmm. to the governor, but that's the, the next, the second half of what needs to happen. So your thinking is, well worry about that if it happens right now let's just see what happens yes at this point